much. Thank you very, very, very much. How am I doing? I'm very tired, but we're here. I'm just finishing setting up stuff and, and getting a couple extra people in. I had a good time, but oh my god, I just I got off the plane two hours ago. Okay, like three hours, well, two and a half hours ago. It was a good time. I, I, might, I might have fucked up my, my shoulder a little bit yesterday, but uh, worth it. It was fun. <laughs> okay, maybe not worth it. I don't know. I don't, it was really fun, though. Give me another few minutes together, people. Oh no, not the ad break. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, TwitchCon was, was nice. We got a good uh, collection of people at the meetup. Um, both of them. Uh, I didn't go into the con itself, so I can't tell you anything about what was inside. <laughs> I was just there to hang with people. It was much cheaper that way. Uh, did karaoke with several people? You know, I was supposed to work on things in my off week, and then I found out last week I had three exams today for all three of my classes. So I instead studied today. <coughs> I was oh. supposed to put Echo into a kimono last week. Damn. Damn. The uh. hardest part's literally going to be fitting the sleeves to the wings, and if I can't figure it out, I'm cutting off the sleeves. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to figure out because I don't like many of the priest outfits in the end that has like the blink, the very long cloth between the legs, with usually like a symbol of the like the tabard and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because it's hard to rig it to some avatars, so it's not just stationary or anything. Yeah. To, like, set down in full body. Yeah, it's difficult. So I might look for, like, a design without it, just for visual reference. Like, I want Kips in a priest outfit that isn't with a <laughs> annoying cloth. <laughs> Are you just gonna because I remember the go Shinto? <laughs> like, uh, say that again? Go Shinto outfit, then you just have like the hakama and the kimono. I'm gonna have to do. I can Google that, or you can send me some photos uh, to narrow it down. It's like a Shinto priest. It might help. Shinto priest. Hi. Speaking of priests, there's Jack, head priest of Kisagawa. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> we're both so tired. It's <laughs> gonna be something. Uh, I'm talking with Chad and Flint, like giving IDs for like a Shinto priest outfit instead of. Probably op outfit. open it up now. Yes, we should. All right. Uh, let me do this. Keys, jingling keys. Jingle the keys. Oh. The keys are jingled. We have plenty of people now. We can go in. Huzzah. I'm going to be very tired, so I apologize. I just got back from the con, but let's fucking have some fun. People are going to equate him to human beings. <laughs> go, oh, you should eat people. That's bad. And he goes, I'm a god. I can just make bitch. your tail go absolutely fucking nuts you with my umbrella. Yeah. I'm biting your fucking hand off. Oh my god, my viewpoint is still disgusting. <laughs> 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 Hopefully the meds worked. I can just absolutely fuck with your wings. You might have to be careful around this character because she's undead. Oh, okay. Wait, did somebody call me? No. Just don't the wings. The wings will be very burning to vampire. As I uh, yeah, like she was noticing, oh, did the did the meds work? Are they working? Everything okay? 
This spider man was fired. Uh, uh, a very long day of splashing bandits and wants to take just a small sleeve. He eby and nebies to sleepy. Mib style sleepy and need bed by time. The missile is currently experiencing critical levels of being a sleevagey little guy and needs to go to bed. Oh He's tired and needs to sleep. Just a little sleeging time is a treat. Mid silly lele needs to sleep. boyo. Just a little guy. Mipsipalibile needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. He yawned because he's skeegee. Oh my fucking god. No. I'm losing brain cells. I'm losing brain cells. I already have very few right now. <laughs> Hated everything about that. Hopefully no one will be panicking tonight and need too much. Do not want to work. Hopefully not. Hmm. And Pokemon can just calm everyone down from last week. Hmm. I suppose all the wall, cr wall scrolls keep everything colorful still. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Hmm. Hmm. I'm in a place. Hello, darlings. <laughs> no one is having any issues today, are they? I respectfully suggest you do not. I'm very tired. No, no, no issues for me. Wonderful. Yep, none for me. Hello, dears. Hello. It's good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. It is good to see you, dear. What is on your face? Oh. This? Yes. It's not what's it is on her face, it's what's not it's what's on her missing. face. Yeah. I'm afraid I am in a very poor state these days. Just a lot of stuff that magic requires, so it took a lot. War has its tolls, and I'm afraid I'm falling apart due to it. But it's okay. It'll all be over relatively soon, and then I'll be able to enjoy a nice, long, well-deserved vacation. Mm -hmm. I suppose that is good. At the end of the war. I sincerely hope so. If there's anything we can do to help, or at least anything I can do. I don't know. Sometimes that's not possible. The only things that I have left are to wrap up loose ends. I already know where McGregor is. He stopped hiding himself. It's just a matter of sending the Paxhorn to find him, remove him from his post. Permanently. And then after that, take the artifacts mm. that he is hoarding and use them to finish the job. I have the faintest idea what she's talking about. Magic Don't stuff. worry about it. It's it is it is complicated. complicated. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's nothing to concern yourself and... with, Kisa. I am certainly not, especially not now. I've put so much of my energy towards the shrine boundary. It is coming along, but it is very taxing. <laughs> I have my packs for to handle it. Yep. Uh, Sean, hello dear. Nope, Sean. 
they had found oh, enough. Oh, <laughs> I could have sworn you Yeah, I got a little bit uh, confused. Bumped my head on the way in last uh, week. Called myself the wrong uh, name. Sorry about that. The curiosity in me. Ah, uh, okay. But, yeah, the door's um, a little bit low, so, you know, kind of hurt. Fine thing and more of a thing. I suppose that is why I stopped wearing my armor, and it makes me naturally just a little bit taller. I mean, I kind of get that. I've, I've referred to myself as the person I'm, I'm addressing before on accident. I had to go to the doctor. I had a concussion. But I love you, sir, man. How do you see Nika? Just the more mm. Not very, not a, recently though. I have been very much busy at my shrine. He is most probably around somewhere. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Oh, did he go over to the desk? He very much enjoys that desk. Yeah. Like the one that you and I found on that one you no, he is just very much enjoying the idea that soon enough people will have to come to him for things instead of him wandering around all the time. Ignore the tail. So perhaps if Tomiko or Elias or Mm. Give you a checkup. We've been discussing it. I know Mocha's busy. Yeah. Oh, me? Yes. Waiting for everybody to pile on in. Last time, last week when I came here, I was a little bit confused, but I was doing it. Oh, welcome back, dear. Oh. I think even what happened, it is good to at least check and make certain you did not get any sort of disease or anything. Also, especially um, your eye. Well, I mean... I mean, if you want to hop out of your armor, you should be fine. I don't think anybody here is going to bother you, but Grabs the thing. Puts the bag over arm. Mm. Oh, sorry. I have a quick question. Yes, dear. So there's more, there's going to be eventually a moment where I need to take off my armor. Is there somewhere I can store it safely? Yes, actually. Security can help you with that. Uh, Roland, well, no, he's on leave. Hello there. Uh, there's a girl, since that's open to the public, you can go down that hall and there's a tube. Stuff your armor in that tube, and it'll be secu secured in our vault. And whenever you wish to leave and retrieve it, uh, either find Echo, Roland, or if I'm still here myself, and we can punch in the code and it'll send it back out. That we ask people right. No problem at all. Um, yeah. No, there is a good. I did find him. So, the <clears throat> Oh, it's been far too long since I've used so much essence so often. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. Don't really have there is armor a sage. per se. That sage is just a door Don't that really leads need to well, a dining room that we do not, not all use the time. currently. If anybody pisses me off, the, they usually uh, fucked up already. And, uh, only for there's several other myself. things that'll happen before they well, get right. close enough to me to actually so hurt. To follow the rule. Appreciate it. Additionally, mm. there is a library. When you're on board, it's you can usually handle things the doors. at range before they happen. We have yeah. to be more gentle oh. with the books. Most of them uh, are sentient. If I remember, if I remember some keep, of them keep can in be mind, a I, bit like I said, I had a concussion last week. Damage oh. them. Yes. They were adopting Pokemon. <laughs> there, there are ones uh, who will there. not open if you uh, do not get their permission first as well. It was a uh, Pokemon adoption uh, 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 some, something or other. What is that? Something? I believe that should be everything uh, that okay. you need to know. Yeah, eggs. <laughs> I, I've got one here. Yep. Yep. Something <laughs> happens between the Open two of them and this is hell, General. Right? Plugged in incubator <laughs> with a, uh, Go on. With a <laughs> baby Pokemon. Uh, you were uh, too fast. Sorry. Also, don't worry about the tail, uh, to give you a little bit of advice about it, if you see it curled up, it's curled. If I move, it's going to go somewhere, so just ignore that bit, and it's totally curled up. I can at least picture the idea of comfortable. There are certain fourth dimensional things beyond my control. Sorry, I... How are you doing, Anigasa? I ran through the door at MMR last week and I made the mistake of bonking my head on it pretty severely. Oh, I'm too tired. I'm too quiet now. I just don't think she heard you. Exactly. No. How are you doing, Anigasa? I'm. No, I went to the doctor. No, still not. Uh, I think they're in their own world right now. Uh, I should be more upset by that, but I'm simply tired. <laughs> I like your armor, it's very pretty. People tend to ask about the fun. Very pretty. I, I, I love it a lot. You do a good job oh, taking care of it, too. Yeah. Do you need to bag your roots a bit again? Oh, yes, perhaps. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just haven't had the time. I know. Wait a minute, yeah, I do remember that. We had some fella and yellow. I do we will at least have the estate and the shrine and a place to get away from everything. Well, no, there's three uh, that I answer honestly from people. Yeah, per. that was 40 years ago. I don't know. The boundary is getting stronger, at least. Mm. But keep this up for another week or so. It should be alright. I don't need to save it for later. I need something bad. Mm. Yeah. Are you wearing Open yourself out, ma'am? <laughs> I don't mean to bother, but... Yeah. Oh, not exactly. I've been putting my essence towards my up-and-coming shrine. Extending my boundary, making certain everything is ready when it, once it is complete. It is taxing, is all. I have no intention of harming myself. <laughs> The question I ask everyone that I somehow forgot. Come here, let's go over there. May I ask mm. your pronouns? Let's just say. 
Buffy. I wanted to be more of a predator. Ah. Mm. All right. Oh, I see. I wanted to be more in charge than the Buffy I am a busy. Mm -hmm. There's more in charge than I expect. I tend to yeah. be a bit, like you know, Something trying like to be that. aware. Mm -hmm. so that's what? Always immediately apparent and I've I need to remember whether to tell may be able to help with this or not. I know we were focusing a bit more on me. Hmm. I need to ask you something, darling. Are you versed enough in, in proper... Let us see. I suppose the biological part of healing at all, or simply magical, because I have been oh. searching. I've been doing some research oh, into biological uh, healing on the. Large pillows and <laughs> more versed in magical, but I can definitely see it. Sort of if I know a bit more, I might be able to tell if I can help. Yes, I'm not quite sure either. It is more a checkup is needed, but everything I have done to see does not seem to it does not seem to be magical. And I cannot exactly look at that I cannot touch the blood or look into it or any sort of though so, though perhaps perhaps a second opinion may be helpful on one aspect. You can see magic properly, yes? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got a few ways to see magic stuff. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps step into our medical office for a moment. Uh, it's rather... Okay. Mm. Uh, Sorry. Quiet or relaxing. No. Where is that? Mm. Down at the end, where everyone... Oh. Uh. We do not exactly have our own space yet, so we've been using that, the quiet room. The biologic thing, I don't have any actual degrees or anything, but I've learned a lot of stuff from experience. No. Which is a shame, because as a maid... At least I'm hoping for a second opinion on what I've seen magically, for now, at least until Ellis or Tomiko-san or Nikolai or one... One of them are able to come. There are a very select few people that I would let have anything of mine, you know that. Mm. I know, darling, which is why I'm hoping that, that the team that I picked myself would be... Uh, considering the ...among um, those you would trust with that. Even amongst the... <laughs> even amongst the guild, they're very... The list is... Exer exceedingly small. Mm. Yes, but I know you know I cannot check myself certain things. Yes. <laughs> if only Murillo was here. Mm. Well, who would you trust on my team then? I trust you. Mm. And I trust your judgment. Or is it actual Nikolai? No, it's actual. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for the puppet you brought in before. Please tell you the ones that I picked. I'm very picky about. So. Yeah? We've been doing a good job so far. I have had bad experiences with Faye and the other, like. Uh, well, yes, that is understandable. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Faye, Sirens, and godly types I have always had issues with. Not all gods, most gods are actually pretty decent. Mm. Mm. Then what about. Mm. Tao and Nikolai, if you can, and I shall be there as well. I may need your assistance in a moment if you're willing, darling. What if it is you need assistance if I will gladly help? 
Mm. It's information. But I have not read it yet, perhaps. Mm. It's information and more. I may need assistance with a bit of a checkup if you're willing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I am willing. Mm. I'm also willing. That I'm allowed. Sure. Mm. Uh, to the not office, perhaps, for an initial discussion. Mm -hmm. At the end of the hallway. kind of used to that half of the time I used to. There was a time I used to work with a face wolf. Oh, probably just going on. We can go to the back corner, so... Oh, voices do not travel. <laughs> so apologies, darlings, I'm a bit tired. I've been putting quite a bit of my spiritual power into the foundations of my shrine. <clears throat> That's okay, I get that. Mm. I'm hoping for assistance, especially when it comes to the more biological aspects of things. Mm, I believe Sigurd here needs a checkup. Something happened most recently, and mm. I was not able to find a magical reason for it. But I cannot get close to blood, I cannot most check those aspects. Three. Mm. As mm. if he is alright with this. Mm. With this on him. Mm. Well, it depends on what it is. Mm. If you're alright with discussing things with us, that is the very most important thing. Mm. Kisei picked you both. I trust Kisei's judgment, so yes, I am alright with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. All right then, but if you ever so choose to change your mind, mm. that is all right. Indeed. Mm. Well, the most recent issue was that he was... He was harmed in a fight this past week. There was also, I was giving him a look over and I saw some blue, well, something blue in his eye, the damaged one within the cracks, but it was not magical in nature. Hmm. Either that it was so faint I could not see it, but I doubt that. You mind if I take a closer look then? By all means. I you take a closer look first. I don't want to crack too much. Mm -hmm. On initial glance, you'll see that his iris is broken. Uh, but there's a faint glow. Uh, like a bluish glow to it. Mm. Strange blue glow. That is what I saw as well. 
From what I can tell, it is not magical at all. <laughs> and I've never seen a human have a glow in their eye. At least not without magic. If I use my scanning ability, and it seemed like there is a foreign object within the eye, Perhaps I can pick up on something like this. Are you okay with me checking or something like that? By all means. So they're doing... They're basically like scanning ultrasound sort of vibes. If there is something from there, that's basically what they describe. That's what they're checking for. There is no foreign object within his eye. At least with my own ability, I could not pick up on something. But that does not mean there isn't something there. Simply quickly looking in that way, there was nothing I could see. Uh, do you mind if I uh, also... I'll try a quick scan, maybe see if mine is somehow different enough from Nikolai's to pick up on any differences. If there was something jarring, <laughs> I would have picked it up, so it might be more subtle if there is something there. Alright, this is uh, going to feel a little weird. Uh, uh, what I'm going to be doing to you, I'm letting you know this now, so that way you can tell if anything goes wrong, is a, a sort of, uh, going to be using some sort of magic of sorts to uh, scan through your body, detect any sort of differences that uh, you maybe have. going to be also comparing it to the non-damaged eye to see if that gives me a better idea of what's different. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Out of character, do I detect any differences or anything of note? You'll... You'll detect somewhere around his chest that there's a living being there. Mm. Uh, his chest and back. Uh, you said the injury was mainly at your eye, correct? Now that's... That has been well, there, but... This injury is... Well, old. Yes. The I, thing uh, is, I've never uh, seen the blue in his eye before this. Well, aside from magical scan. means, but... Nothing seemed... <sighs> I did a scan. It doesn't seem like something is in the head or the eye or around that, but... Around your chest, I felt something else there. So, mm. Something living inside of you. Is uh, that something you've already known about, or...? Yes, that is known. Ah. Mm. Uh, long story short, I have a dog riding shotgun in my head. Well, I... more of a parasite, really. He lives in my tattoos. Is this something that you uh, do not want or think it's been, has been causing you some sort of harm? Uh, this was a pact made a, a while ago, a so it was it was a mutual agreement. Unfortunately, he said pact, but it does not know what is going on either, which is very unusual and unnerving. Uh, I could not detect any uh, differences aside from the thing in your chest. That doesn't mean there is or isn't something there. I'm, this is just a theory, but I'm guessing whatever the dog, as you said, in your chest uh, might have just been the, more drawing the presence of my scanning rather than anything else. I might have to try a different method some other day, but for now I couldn't find anything in specific. Hmm. I would want to check your blood pressure, things like this. Hmm. Yes, absolutely, a checkup is certainly needed after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dealing with blood or anything like that is simply something I cannot do. 
I was hoping Alice oh, would be able to see, but... It is a chip there. It is a thing that you strap around your arm, mm. and it tightens, compress onto the arm. Mm. And it is able to pick up on nipples and brush. Mm. There is no invasive uh, uh, method to this. Mm. Oh. It is alright. Uh, By all means. Hey. When was the uh, glowing in the eye? Uh, uh, when was it first noticed? About a week ago, exactly now. Mm -hmm. He was in a bit of a uh, fight, and then the he came here, and mm. it was different. A week ago, would... You'll be able to describe if you notice more nausea, chest pain, headaches, anything of this like, dizziness? Not exactly. Oh. A week ago I did transform into... A beast, I'll say, and I did consume two humans entirely. In self-defense. Mm -hmm. It is alright, and I do not mean to be heartless to the humans that were affected, but I simply... Do not worry too much about the moral implications right now, and more so, the health implications, if that is a thing. Uh, I was mainly nauseous, but I think that was more of the thought of then I would not the act. <laughs> I do not know if it's different in different people or so. Consuming other people or humans has different effect on people. Hmm. I've heard some life stories. Hmm. Could it have changed his body Due at all? To the... Due to the pact I made, I, I have a symbiotic relationship with this dog. It wouldn't be the first time he has eaten people. However, uh, we, we've transformed and he has eaten people. This was entirely different. He had nothing to do with it. This was me. I ate those people. I would not judge you for this. I simply <laughs> care about your health. <laughs> I know I am not one to really talk to about these matters. All I can do is provide my support. <laughs> Best to my ability. If you are right with it, I would like to take your blood pressure. It is a little pump thing. Mm. It's a wrap around your arm. Of course. I did not bring it with me because I didn't think I would be doing that unless we have the blood pressure devices here. Mm. Maybe something back in the storage we were gathering, but otherwise there's the... Mostly I've been making connections for that hospital use. Hmm. I was hoping Ellis would be around and he would simply be able to bring in some of his devices, but... Hmm. Echo might know. I mean, I would assume we would have some in the aftercare department at the very least, otherwise... 
Yes, they probably stored somewhere. We simply did not have our own space yet. I will ask Echo where they may have been put. They look like I simply need to find it. Mm. Thank you. Alternatively, I would do the flash reading, but that is ultimately more invasive. Mm. If I can simply nurse the device, that is fine. In this way. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Can I get through the door? <laughs> Did you get any form of healing after the fast, physical, magical, or some other? I do not have enough energy to open the door. Oh, I go and ask myself. Oh. I'm stay here. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Due to my relationship with This symbiotic creature, I have gained the ability to have slightly accelerated healing. So you got so I need through the creature, am I correct? Uh, yes, it wouldn't be the first time he has healed me. Um, mm. He has fe healed far more grievous wounds. Uh, mm. Like the night we, me and Kise were attacked by dragon hunters. Mm -hmm. uh, I was effectively disemboweled, and if it wasn't for him, I would have died. I see. This was almost a year ago. Seeing as he seems to be uh, doing good healing, I, I am doubtful that this is some, something of normal mundane causes that such as a, a wound not being uh, treated for infection. Mm. Although... Mm. Actually, out of character question, uh, during the whole time of talking, uh, Entity inside of Tao would have been looking over them with true sight and uh, magic sight. Would, uh, would they have seen anything? Right. Uh, actually, <clears throat> you would have seen something trying to interfere with True Sight. Mm. Would that something have been coming from the chest? It would have been coming from his chest and back. But True Sight would reveal it to be a god. Hmm. Uh, I'm not 100% on what true sight reveals, but I assume it's everything about it, right? Uh, pretty much anything that can be gleaned by seeing past any sort of illusions or invisibility or any hiding stuff. Basically seeing it through anything that would normally hide in it, like hiding in the astral plane or another realm or whatever like that. Uh, no, he, he is definitely using very magic, uh, very powerful magic to hide. Mm. Uh, I guess it would be an aura around him. But you would definitely be, I, I'll give you that. It's definitely a god doing it. Mm. And it is uh, directly in the tattoos on his chest and back. Okay, okay. We can cards back up in three, two, one. Mm. Uh, you just got in there. You got oh, your apologies. No, mm. so, I have the equipment necessary. All this is is it. Strap around your arm, and you will feel pressure. And then manually pump it, and a meter mm. will increase. It tells me about your pulse. About your blood pressure. I can show something. It's not invasive, it does not break your skin or anything like that. This is what I prefer. So, he's just checking your blood pressure and pulse, basically. His pulse would be... A little elevated, but his blood pressure is extremely good for a 56-year-old man. Mm. 
Pulse is elevated, but your blood pressure is almost textbook. That is very good. Hmm. And that is all the work. I'll be sure to give this back. Right. Since it's only been a week, I do have a suggestion of checking or getting multiple checkups, perhaps a couple weeks. Uh, so we do the same thing next week or with whoever you trust to check on you regularly. Just in case, uh, whatever test you do this week, or who you trust to sort out for this investigation, do the same thing exactly a week later. See what the difference is, if there is any differences. You would be able to tell if perhaps there is something happening, maybe your eye is glowing more. Or perhaps it is same. Mm. These things. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I'm very much hoping to perhaps speak that with Alice and Dana. That is my recommendation for investigating. Mm. Perhaps there are some tests that can be done on the genetic side. To see if anything is different or unusual. Mm -hmm. Different nausea or worry of uh, blood pressure rising, things like this is in case there is something else moving through your system or your blood is diluted with a nervous substance of sorts that might be giving you these effects, mm. you'd be able to tell you the vessels try to open up more because the oxygen is disrupted, do not get to all of you. Things like this. Blood pressure rising, expected to stress. With what you deal with, that is expected. If you feel nauseous and sick more often because you perhaps thinking of what happened, uh, this is expected. But it, uh, it's then something that you can mm -hmm. perhaps have people support you and deal with the physical aspect. Mm. The way I'm not really a doctor of the mind. Mm. I cannot help with the emotions. Mm. No, that's fine. Well, given that case, I trust you two. Otherwise, we wouldn't be standing here. I would be fine with you conducting the same tests in a week. Mm -hmm. If there is anything that you would like us to facilitate, See her. I'm happy to discuss it. Thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? Holy shit. Thank you. Um, mm. At this point, I'm just going with whatever Kisei wants. Mm. I think she's more worried about it than I am. Of course I am worried, especially after what happened. I do not like things that I do not understand either, and that I do not understand. I do need to make this very clear. Even though this is what Kisei wants, your comfortability comes first. If you are not comfortable with these things, Kisei's opinions aside, it is a matter of you and your person. Apologies, Kisei. I am also worried, of course, but this is you and your body. It is your word that I go with, not Kisei's. I would that take into consideration fair. Kisei's concerns. Mm -hmm. I suppose it would ease my mind a bit if I also knew what was happening. So... Mm. It's also something that I want. That is what matters to me. Do not worry. I'm sure even at least keeping up a weekly observation, just for a little bit. That would be good, just in case there are physical issues that pop up. We'd be able to find out. If there is a strange change, elevation, or decline in things. Mm. Thank you, darling. Mm. 
And as usual, and our team's rules. I do want to say that I will keep this only to you mm. and what you are comfortable with sharing with others or mm. who you are sharing with. I would leave that to you. Mm. And if there's anyone else that you want to be informed, I would listen to you. Mm. That is what I was going mm. to say. Our course, team has um, made. Very good point. Confidentiality is proud, important. Kise. I'm very proud of my team. I chose them myself. Why would I not be? Apologies for interrupting, and I'm sorry for not making myself known earlier. I uh, couldn't help but look over you through town here yeah, while uh, all of this was going on. Hmm. You didn't, uh, tell me, uh, you, uh, know what this dog inside of you truly was when you made the path door, at least up until now. It's probably a poorly kept secret, but I made a pact with the god Fenrir. Uh, like Fenrir. That's a name I haven't had in a long time. Yes. Um. Still do not flatter yourself. Just because someone didn't recognize you. Mm. Apologies. Well. I, uh, I tried to take a look a little bit. He seemed to get in the way of some true sight to see if I could get a better idea for this tower here. Hmm. He uses a lot of energy to, well, the main reason for our pact was him hiding me from prying eyes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I can understand that. I will not go into details, but... You're not the only one who's made, uh, not very well company with him, I shall say. He is not the oh. most charismatic in a good way. Yes. No, no. no, he's definitely charismatic, my dear. He's just not very popular amongst the it's not you know, in a good people way. he really wants things out of. Hmm. Considering what he's done, I'm surprised. I'm surprised his reputation hasn't uh, made him less favorable than he already is. Uh, I suppose if we're looking at the intricacies of the Ace here, they've all done terrible things, but. Mm -hmm. Not about it. Practically every god has had some terrible thing they've done in their life. Myself included. He's just been directly. Hmm, what's the word you would use, Kise? Hmm. I don't even, even know how you. The pain in my ass? Yes. Very much so. Uh, I can get. I can get that. I just bring it lightly. After the uh, many times in the past for the things I had in my possession. Which I refuse to give to him. That sounds like good old Harvey. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Apologies. I shall uh, return Tao back here and uh, I've gotten what I need to say out, and she's getting a little antsy right now. Mm. Goodbye. Mm. That sounds familiar as well. <laughs> Which she would just ask before doing that. Oh, yeah, they really have a habit of doing that without asking, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you need to throw some lines in the sand. I've tried thing. doing that, but the uh, feels have been still getting a bit rough. <laughs> Generally, mine only does it. Observations. You would like me to make at a later point. 
to organize better equipment, things like that. Mm. Make sure you can keep consistent observations. Yes. We'll have to find a time to go to the... your professional opinion. Mm. Indeed, this may... Well, I would prefer a proper environment for it. We do have access to a hospital if we need to run these tests with things that I need not get close to. But at least from what Ellis says, they tend to find a better nuance in the biological. Then I can simply write out a handful of things that I would get ordered and they can handle it through the uh, system, so to speak. You can gather the information from them. Hmm. Indeed. And, uh, I know you've already said you got your healing stuff from... Which is Malakon your... Oh, I hope so too. Yeah. Feel better. Well, Rest your voice. Very good at helping out other healing at the end of hand. And, uh... I'm sure Kisa has already told you this, but I've got like a, a couple dozen spell scrolls I've given to aftercare for mm. traditional healing and disease healing. Indeed. In case uh, you need that. Mm. I'm just going to write some notes down now. I am not a person that can... Mm. Uh, I suppose I will write these down and perhaps you can process them properly so that they know it is for the MMR doctors. Mm. That this data would be sent back to us. Mm. Indeed, we keep everything confidential yes, between yes. our comms. I like to write things on paper. I hope that is alright. I'm a bit more old fashioned. Oh, trust me, I write things on paper as well. Yep. Old fashioned? Mm. That is. I... Trust Kisi that you can process these uh, requests properly and at a time. And no this is only if you're comfortable with doing this. Of, of course. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a little paper with list of tests to get done at a proper clinic. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, dear. So it would. Just to explain, I guess, the flavor of the test. Very typical things, like wanting to check, uh, like, get a blood test, a blood sugar test, human <laughs> sample, that kind of thing. The you should kind of, like, just generalize. Your annual up. physical. That's another point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your annual physical. All right. <laughs> But again, that is up to you. Thank you. Mm. Uh, there is nothing I else I can think of what need to do right now. Mm. Nothing else I can think of as well. At least nothing I can do here mm. would be extremely invasive, so... Yeah, certainly nothing here oh, invasive. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... It may have to get that way if... Initial... Scanning and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. I'm just is making it, certain that it is in a properly private place that no one can come into suddenly. We are getting that. There's one test on that little pathology script. It is a needle, a right of needles. They are taking a small amount of blood so that they can look at it. Uh. That is typical uh, Yes, I am familiar with... I'm not a fan of needles, but... If it needs to be done, it needs to be done. I can at least guarantee you in these clinics they are professionals at it. At least I would hope so. <laughs> I will also say, like, I, I, I doubt and I hope this isn't going to be something necessary, but if it does end up being the case, I can 
also very much uh, look into matters of the heart and soul, whether that be metaphorically or literally. So if something, so if the issue is coming from there, I, I can definitely help with that. Mm -hmm. Although that would definitely mm -hmm. require consent from you and uh, the dog and you. Uh, well, he is supposed to be fixing the issue I had with my soul. Mm. I see. Can't do it. I can't do that. any of my stuff here. Uh, I have um, a feeling that Mona would kick me out if I do. Permanently. Yes, I'm nothing. Not yes, we are making certain not to. Uh, yes. Hmm. And just so we're clear, uh, Finrear, you don't need Finrear's permission for anything, as long as you get it from me. He has no choice in the matter. Understood. Indeed. Understood. It was more a uh, case of safety, just, in case, just that way I don't, he doesn't fight against it and cause more problems. Uh, no, if I have to, I'll rip him from my body myself. Okay. I'd recommend not doing that, but if you... <sighs> it wouldn't be the first time. I can do. If it is alright, I will leave this to your business. Thank you both. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm this is why I have the best team. Emergency contacting me or anything like that as well. It is no issue. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, this part of the job. Me. You can contact me whenever if you need help with anything medical or by the sounds of it with the uh, higher ups in the terms of the world. So apparently you've got that in common. Not sure why so many people have gods in them. Mm. Uh, believe me, this is... It was very extreme measures to protect the people I care about. Fair enough. Mm. I was just sort of thinking I got stuck with that birth, apparently. Hmm. Well, I do not have any qualms or matters in these kind of things. You can trust yeah. that I will focus on the physical aspect. Mm. These things are intertwined. Where magic really happens, it affects the mind and the body. And vice versa with everything. If one thing happens, I, I will surely pick it up on the physical matter. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, darlings. I need to return this uh, blood pressure device mm. now. <laughs> Indeed. Um, uh, yes, I... I think... I think... I think I... Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, no. Go, by all means, go, go on. Back to things. I was just going to say, I think I might need to get going as well, uh... Gotta check up. Just got. I haven't. Been, gotta check up on Lucy back at home. Uh, what am I got last week? Or adopted, I should say. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. From the event. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> from the event yeah, last week, yes. Uh, yeah, from the event last week. Hmm. Mm. Let people know before I go, but I shall see you guys later. <laughs> All right, have a good night, dear. You too. Oh, it's stomach off. Good. Uh, yeah, go. You can see if anything needs to be done. That is done by Ellis, therefore, someone I trust. I do have to get going. It's all right. No? Mm -hmm. Even more newcomers. Uh, Hello, Devil and Darling. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, goodness, I am so tired, but I suppose for a good reason. Mm. Hello, Tommy Good to see you both. Hope mm. you're doing well. Mm. Admittedly, though, I might have some tea for you later. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, that sounds. So Sounds like frustrating to you, mm. see. Someone's insulted me, so... Oh, yeah, how dare well. they! Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Do they get the chocolate? Is this beyond the chocolate? Mm. 
I told you I was bound by my work to do no harm until a necessary thing to do so. So no. If I find them on the street, though. Fair enough. I was going to say you do know the loophole for that, right? Oh. No. Quite make sense to me, but. Well, you are bound to do no harm. Doesn't mean someone else can't do it for you. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not going to have someone else act upon my honor and manipulate them in that way if I can help it. Hmm. Yet. Oh no, I was just thinking of a curse that made them itchy. Anybody, but I could slap them with a fish. Oh, that by all means. <laughs> <laughs> Finally getting some use out of those. So, is it different for me or is it just another one? What if you want to talk about some tea at any point? I'm 100% willing. By the way, very nice. Very nice. This year. From work, anyway. Oh, really? That is it. Oh, is that who that is? I saw we had a newcomer. Yeah. Hmm. First time here. <laughs> Wonderful. Other newcomers, but at least one of them left as well. Oh, so mm. busy. I get a scratch you are. <laughs> oh, We're saying you? so much. Oh no, rumors already. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I very much enjoy rumors. Hello, darling. Welcome. Hi. Mm. Uh, it is great to meet you. My name is Mana. What's yours? Oh, no. Ah, Kisagawa. You may call me Kise. I'm the head of the aftercare specialist here. Kise. Indeed. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, so what is that? <laughs> I suppose you could call us the uh, healers of this particular guild. We uh, deal in making certain people are healthy. Okay, sure. It's so close. Hmm. Also sure. making some people very well been... safe and tested uh, useful products for people to ensure their safety during certain times. Oh, indeed. Hell yeah. What you? We tend to work with the... This is our main direct line. <laughs> Oh, that's where we get all those toys from. Okay, I got it. Yes, the toys, the elasticity potions, the various sorts of healing potions mm -hmm. that do not come from the ribbon chip. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting, because somebody came in asking for a gallon of our lube. I don't know some... Hmm. Why was that the <laughs> a gallon. It was a, it was a barrel. A barrel of our lube. Oh yes, quite a bit of, quite a bit of the lube and the elasticity potions tend to come from Ambrosia. Yeah, it was Hamsky. Oh, really? Why do you need that much lube? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose you shall need plenty of the crystal crystal wash afterwards from Leaky. <laughs> something about the they were trying to put it in the in the center of the gym for two people wrestling. I think they're trying to do the whole oiled up wrestling sort of thing. Hmm. Oh, got into oil wrestling. I think so. I could see him being like all. Like, I know that checks out. I will have to ask Ambrosia whether it is set for that sort of thing and whether she would be offended. She works hard on that lube. Yeah. It should be used for its proper purpose. Mm -hmm. Unless it leads to the proper purpose, in that case, maybe. It might, it might be for well, like if we're using it for advertisement, then it's basically using it for the wrong purpose. I could have two of them. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well. Technically, as long as as long as they are paying for it to the guild, I suppose it works. Yeah, it goes back towards our work. It works. Yes. Whatever. Whatever oh, works. And I should I shouldn't treat you as the chair that she is sitting on. Hi, my name is Nano. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I'm Sigurd. Hmm. Hello, Sigurd. This is my betrothed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Ah, I see. I see. Hmm. Very cool. Hmm. Hmm. Lovely awesome. couple, the both of them. <laughs> Oh, I can tell. Exactly. Mm. Hmm. So, I do need to get back to the Nine Heavens more often so than a while. Hmm. Mind if I get a place to sit so I can talk I'd about like, some tea and maybe make you some tea? Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Shit. You're not right I now. Like this. Why do you do this, honey? Why I do you do this to me? I want to feed you. I know. I would feed my flesh oh. gone, but I'm just too... Tired at the moment. I've been putting my essence into the foundation of the shrine. I'm so very exhausted spiritually. <laughs> okay, well. Yes. I'm gonna find a place to sit. Yes. Oh, how about the tea couch? It tends to be good for that. that. There's a tea couch? Mm -hmm. Well, technically it's just the oversized couch, but everyone tends to use it for, for that sort of talk. Oh, do we miss it? I could not see them. Oh. 
Hmm. Let us see. I know neither of them. Oh. Oh, that is Sean. They were around last week, and then the other one I do not know, however. Mm. Well, we could go. We could. We do not I use mean, that enough. He just came out of there, but oh. there's also the parlor as well. Oh. No, the parlor. We're just there, and there are not um, many places to sit. I know. <laughs> as for places to sit, I mean, there is the theater, but there's yes. also the... I mean, there's some seating in the lobby. Oh, right? the campfire on the path. I assume it's very cool. not even. Mm. It's not even a private conversation. I wouldn't assume. Oh, it's mm. not. It, no. It's just tea spilling. But I, I'm my legs are tired. I oh, want to be tea tea? somewhere where she can be comfortable. Yes, apparently. I very much unless enjoy you're, good unless gossip. You're willing to stand near in front of me the entire time. I mean, there's the. I generally prefer standing. <laughs> oh, well, then by all means, just let me choose a place to sit. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Can I hear this chant? Oh, of course. You were there for oh, part of it. Oh, you already know, I see. That's right, I know what you're going to talk about. Mm hmm. So, apparently, there is this, uh, I'm not going to get into particulars because if I talk about certain details, apparently it helps. But, overall, there's this woman, this, uh, high-esteemed, quote-unquote, ri ritualistic woman named Slanesh. Mm. Don't know if any of y'all know the name. I mm. think that's one of the gods from Arzik's realms. I've been doing Correct. some research. Oh. Uh, and in particular, she's into some nasty, nasty things. Ah. Uh. Think about everything uh, to do with the more sexual potency and lust, but in the horrific direction, honey. Uh, it, oh. Yes, it's generally very... I was over there. Degenerate, but not in the good sense. Oh, the then what is the point? Hmm. Exactly. Wow. But mm -hmm. they, the, these three hulky massive men came in, talked about the place, asked some questions, then said, yeah, yes, brother, this is apparently a, a den of Slanesh worshippers. I was so offended. Oh, uh, goodness. Uh, large people, mm -hmm. uh, roughly about nine feet tall, yeah, very... I know what, I know a space... Power armor. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. the ones with the yeah, armor that just nice. make my skin crawl if I had skin. <sighs> so I told them to keep that name out of their filthy mouth around me. Understandable. Do they not understand that they're different types of, I suppose, fertility gods and whatnot? No. I press pants. Mm. There's plenty of people well, who don't even understand our profession. They would rather from... not exist, so... Oh, that has been going for a long I've time. Mm. Discovered in my research, they are very... Uh, to say zealotry would be... An understatement. And yet those are the ones that are always the most to the max. <laughs> Hey. I'm glad we do not have those kind of religious folk until that large war that they had and all the yeah. brothels got shut down. I miss you, Shuana. Mm -hmm. Well, overall, though, I respectfully sent them on their merry fucking way. Told them to please leave. Hmm. As you should. What were they doing going... Did they at least pay? Did they at least pay first? Did they get into the door? No. Oh, oh. They went through the door. I didn't even let them back in the back, honey. Hmm. They didn't get past the door. To be fair, though, you could have taken the coin and then sent them away. Ah. Uh, we could have. Well. We could have. The, the terrible person tax. Hmm. <laughs> might have started a fight though no nah, i was gonna say i wasn't gonna no, win that fight, fight if it was gotten physical i suppose but you have security yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, i am security it's one of those things where it's not worth it where it's like mm. 
You get used to people well, shit talking you all the time. This is the bad question. part, effectively. I was the only one of security there. We had about. Mm, it was honestly just. Sets of levels, yes. Absolutely we were chaos. Close when they entered. We we're in the process of closing. Oh, they are latecomers, too. Goodness. How many levels of rude could they be? Well, they're not quote unquote <laughs> latecomers. We had to close early because we only have three people for staff that day. A lot of them took their days off at the same time. No, darling, I'm saying they're probably latecomers as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, yeah, <laughs> that's true. true. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Either that or really fast. But that I was, was going to say, what, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be worse <laughs> if they were early and not late? Mm. Wouldn't you prefer to be late? Oh, I, I would prefer them to not show at all. Yes, yeah, not at all, yeah. Late, so. <laughs> five, ten minutes. I'm trying <laughs> to make puns, my love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I have a I'm glad that you're learning of it. It's a little bit shorter. Oh? <laughs> By all means. So, I won't say names because I'm not that type of cow. But there was this very nervous lady who came right at the end of our service last um, yesterday who she was so excited because um her friend or boyfriend i couldn't really tell um is finally coming home after like a really long time and she's like i've only ever done it like once or twice and i want some tips so i'm like okay we're gonna break down exactly how you're gonna make this boy melt when he comes back and it was the <laughs> cutest thing she was taking notes like it was going to be on an exam <laughs> and it was oh my god <laughs> oh. you wouldn't believe i i i hope to all goodness that she is going to blow that um boy's mind whenever she gets <laughs> met, uh, her hands on her it's gonna be so adorable it was probably. Oh, now I'm curious. I definitely want to hear the end of this story. Please tell me. You will tell me when you find out. When I hear about it, you'll get it. 100%. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to see a rabbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on ahead. Having story time. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what else has been interesting? Most of the other stories yeah. from the last couple of times that we've worked are pretty boring. Well, not boring, but mundane. Yeah, mm. not too much to really speak on overall. No. Mm. Believe it or not, we did our jobs. Wow. <laughs> oh, absolutely, considering the low numbers we had. Mm. Well, true. We were handling a lot. It is kind of comfy, though. Oh, busy night then. Right. Oh, I mean, as busy as you can be with a short staff, but yeah. Hmm, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Oh, are people doubling up? A decent number. Hmm. Oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> that, oh, that was the other. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, I had two people. They were co workers. And there was this one little, this one um, girl that was um, just like melting with me sitting next to her. Just like, was just a blabbering little mess. And I, I was talking with her and her co worker. And she was like, I, I asked her, well, we can, we can go back. Or, or we can add your um, co-worker for just a little more. And she, as quietly as possible, said, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that was already in her plans long term. But I'm just helping. So we end oh up going goodness. to the room. You match me? Of course I did, without <laughs> even being prompted. Like, I did my job, but they had their own job. But they, got, they worked through some things. And, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Oh, we really need to come back to Nine Heavens sometime. Hmm. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, please do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Perhaps not with Leaky next time. He made such a point of in stories about things that he should not have been speaking, speaking about there. He was very much interested in how his crystal wash was being used, I believe, for the most part. <laughs> that sounds like Leaky. <laughs> Different alchemical formulas in order to make things better. He very much enjoys his alchemy. 
<laughs> well, thankfully, ah. since I've begun enforcing people to use the uh, methods that we provide whenever things... Oh, hi, hi. Hello, dear. <laughs> We've had one incident where somebody didn't. Oh? Hmm. Yeah, this very big, uh, very big hulking mass of a man along this one of our smaller workers. Uh, she got hurt, had to go to the ribbon ship, aka the medical there, hmm. uh, because he was too big, and they didn't use our product. Oh, me having to enforce them to do so. Ambrosia would be so upset. I cannot. I cannot even tell her. She would go right down there and figure out who it was. I gave her an earful and made Good. sure that it's a written rule that you must adjust yourself for the proper measures using the products should it require. Exactly. Hmm. This is why I'm glad my department does not have to do its job very often because people actually listen and use the products properly. Mm -hmm. It's nice that you guys actually have products, though. I, when when I was on the road for a while, I be, uh, didn't really have any magic that I was able to handle that type of thing. Hmm. But once I started to learn about some like mundane magics, like that's when like everything starts slipping into place. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, indeed. Because we pride ourselves in making certain people are safe and healthy when they're having fun. Sure. Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so long as they're not trying to do the dumb thing of trying to turn it into some sort of badge of honor, you would be surprised how many people want to say, oh, they broke my pelvis. We have to deal with that afterwards. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. I get, I get what you mean, mm. but just reinforce yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Everyone is so excited to do it, but no, you should be preventing that stuff. Badge of honor. Yeah. That I gave someone the time of their damn damn life and me hurting them, and I would never take the badge of honor for hurting. Them. Exactly. They don't think about the partners in that way. It is cruel. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels good. I've had mine broken afterwards. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a good po point of pride, but they shouldn't be. Hard. You did not take it as a badge of honor, did you? Not fun. No. It wasn't through sex, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was thrown by a. Oh, what was it? I think it was Rock Golem. Oh. Change clothes and tease someone. Ooh. Hmm. Really? Oh, is it time? Mm, of course I am. Oh, I know who it is. I know exactly who it is. Hello, kids. Oh. The finest whiskey I could find in the liquor store. Oh! Sadie, I've needed some more. Of, uh, Especially now, I'm going to need quite a bit of use in order to get my spiritual energy back up, and then I won't have to clean myself out. What kind of whiskey? Hmm. Oh, okay. There are not many brands of whiskey all of the year around uh, 300 so it's just, dollars. So it's just, it's just normal whiskey? Like high-tier whiskey? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, will make things so much better. It's always nice to have good dreams. Oh yes, I mostly just use it to clean myself out, but I'm a pipe. Peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Who? Jaden. Oh, Jaden. Peanut butter, alcohol. I've not seen Jaden recently. What? what? Mm. Peanut butter. Uh, I think it was whiskey. They were looking. <laughs> oh, he didn't mention that in the comms. I just, just want to be clear. You didn't give Kisei peanut butter whiskey, did you? Yes, no. No. Good. Okay. I do not think that would go well with Ikizami. I'd have to make some special oh, kind for that. I had to serve that swill at the bar. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. I dumped out the bottle afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
Good to know. Above Hall's Island. Yeah, but apparently, the game is a big part of it, so... Hmm. Why not on the route? Hmm. I'm... As a her assistant, I'm a fella. A little hound roar. Oh yes, I believe they've been around. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Hello again, dear. I remember Nick Gates and Frogon. Hmm. Not this one. Hmm. Well, we have quite a few around here. This is a sanctuary of souls. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Don't know if uh, Dylan told you, but we had an event last week for adoptions of souls. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I I'm still not super familiar with the concepts of uh Pokemon and they uh it reminds me of something else and it's very strange. I'm trying to be open-minded, hmm. but it's um it does look a lot like slavery, like a lot like slavery. Oh yeah. Yes. That is why we have been very cautious here. We have our own types of what do they call them consent balls that we have people if anyone is going to Yes. Hello. Oh, hello, darling. That entirely Hi. depends on how you go about it, if I'm being honest. Hello, hello, you two. <laughs> I'm mm. not of going to get another little mm. no, Of course not. I mean, so you're just capturing any Pokemon, Pokemon before you and <laughs> like that, and yes, it is absolutely slavery, 100%. Mm. However, if you're just simply asking if they want to travel with you and stuff like that, and they just end up becoming a companion with you, and then they can leave at any point, then it's not slavery. They're just mm. your friend. I get that, because like people bring their pets all the time, and that they come along with travels, but like, I was told that these are sentient beings. Like, these are... They are. For all intents and purposes. They are. Yes. 100%. They are. We spit it as a mutual partnership. That's why you need to treat them with respect amongst everything else. And understand that the relationship you have with them. Uh, I'll keep an open mind. It certainly seems like y'all here make a lot more sense than what I've seen, heard. Oh, yes, from what I heard from our guild mistress, many of the Pokemon here came from those sorts of less than... Well, kind situations. Yeah, that's why. That is why this is a sanctuary. Sure, absolutely. Mm. The way that I'll put it is, like, I'm I'm totally used to like seeing cultures that have slavery as part of their culture. Like, that's not too abnormal. But it's strange to wear it as a badge of pride. Oh yes, I, uh, I do not understand that. <laughs> there are many of these creatures that are similar to, at least seem similar to some of my kind, which is also why I'm very concerned about those that. Are less. And if anyone <laughs> tries to throw a Pokeball at you, I'll break that Pokeball across their face. See, Good yes, exactly. I'm <laughs> expecting that. Hmm. Well, honestly, if I see someone just toss around a Pokeball at anybody, really, I could probably make an argument to kick them. Hmm. Mm. Oh, you do follow us. Mm -hmm. I'm being bound to the Pokeball mm -hmm. forever. Kind of situation. Mm -hmm. You have to mm -hmm. at least ask if the can keep play like that, okay? Oh, I like it. <laughs> Personally, I don't think they... I don't think... They were never developed in the first place. I think they talking about... Pokemon or mm -hmm. I think these Pokeballs don't need to exist at all. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. the consent ball is less than ideal. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to judge a culture that I just joined. Mm -hmm. I'll be the first one to tell you, I will immediately judge such things yes, as yes, he will. creatures into small <laughs> balls. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can understand mm -hmm. its convenience, well, however. Mm -hmm. Being able to move larger creatures and without a much of a, as much of an issue for either you or them. Being able to heal them, but then not. That makes sense, oh, like using it as a transport system, yeah, but like... Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Sheltering them from extreme weather conditions. <laughs> All sorts of mm -hmm. bigger on the inside. Most of mine roam free That's what people say, yes. need to move them if they get knocked out. Or if something happens oh, to them. Sure. Hmm. That's how I usually do it. 
Mm. I'm not one to bring this into a drab topic like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. No, no, no. It's good to talk about this. Education is part of our work here. Hmm. Hmm. As long as there's no fisticals involved. Yeah. This question is this one here actually runs our library? Or at least it aids with it, yes? Oh, really? Hmm. Indeed. I have the living books are a buyer of some other guard. I do hmm. exist. Oh, yes, of course. Mm. As does all. I just hone edge if I'm correct. Honestly, I haven't seen it for a while. I don't think I see it. Actually, he's trying to establish his own library. Oh, thank you. Very fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I always wanted to be a protector. Hmm. He has a lot to protect now. Good to see he's looking for knowledge in other places, though, beyond myself. That's a fossil. Okay. Hmm. So, what all is in that library? <laughs> I heard there's like living books and whatnot, which seems really cool. <laughs> but like, what huh? is the library? Why is there a massive library here? <laughs> I assume it's uh, Madame Mona's personal collection of books she's, well, collected over the years. Hmm. Yeah, Guildmitch is very much likes books. Hmm. Oh, that's fair. Many of them are educational. They're quite a bit of uh, research on various topics, especially on various species, given what we do. It allows people to mm. better understand each other. <laughs> Makes me wonder how much of it is for our pleasure. <laughs> I assume all of it. She very much enjoys reading. Oh, I'm, sure there's a... <laughs> I'm sure there is a smut section somewhere in there. <laughs> oh, there ah, bibliophilia. If they are living books, does that mean the book itself is perverted? I suppose you would have to ask them. content that they contain would be something of their enjoyment. Hmm. Exactly. It's it's like if you talk to someone and all they ever talked about was like a very specific perverted event, then. I will say the book that goes over mm -hmm. the oh, oh, French Revolution. How are you doing, buddy? Doing well? Who was he? Tweet, tweet, I see. <laughs> Enjoying your venture around? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, Zante, did you need any more incense? Oh, 100%. Oh, I don't forget to work on the batches as soon as I gather my energy again once the shrine is set. I used most of my energy the past week. Yes, I'm very not not going to. Good. I suppose people using my products is also a form of spiritual offering in you. Also, a couple of newer faces uh, out and about. Hello there. Mm. Mm. Hello there, darling. My name is Mono. What's your name? Mm. You may call me Zante. Hello, Zante. It's good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. It was Rochelle and uh, the desk call that kind of makes sure nobody cheats. Zante is one of our security <laughs> staff here. <laughs> Entrepreneur through and through. Yeah, the, the barriers in there came up after. A funny story of you introducing me to your ranch before you even introduced yourself. But well, yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> to be fair, we had pretty much grown familiar with each other at the point before we'd even made that kind of introduction. So do forgive me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I usually verbalize. Well, <laughs> I think for myself, that's go where I'm going to call it. Mm. It was great meeting all of you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well, dear. Uh, you as well. <laughs> and to be fair, I look forward to seeing you all again. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I mostly do the best I can to help teach or at least get them to the point where they take care of themselves. No, good night. Good night. Everything else is on the line.
fact that I'm comfortable enough that I let you hug me, that's already a good sign. <laughs> I haven't let most. I understand that entirely, Nikolai. <laughs> so, anything fun as of late that I've missed or have not gotten regarded? Oh, I wish I could say fun. I used up quite a bit of my spiritual energy the entire week, mostly. It is for a good cause. I'm expanding and properly setting the foundations for my boundary of my shrine. So it shall be very useful ah, once it is complete. But it is, oh, so... It. Yes, there is so much work up to that point. Mm. Uh, I can barely keep my form right now. Hmm. I'm excited to see what you're trying to become. <laughs> As am I. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to finally having room and... A proper place for myself. As much as I love the Kamidana, and we can keep that obviously in the estate. Normally, uh, it is a slight home away from home. Hmm. You know, I wonder how you're doing too, right? <laughs> if you could grow it out, I'm pretty sure it'd be very pretty. I don't know if I have an accurate word to describe it. Mm. A mix, then, maybe. Good and bad? Mm. No. no. <laughs> yeah, I, I was seeing that. Boredom? Mm. Not great, I suppose. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry to hear. Hmm. They, they call it any form of progress. Progress? No. Hmm. I'm not very good with common. I'm typically, I typically speak dark speech. So. I hope a swift end to your troubles then, my friend. <laughs> You, you don't so, even know that. Uh, <laughs> know the, I know you're capable. Uh, do you want to hear the yeah. language of so I don't doubt that there will be one at some point. Mm -hmm. was, uh, <laughs> and eventually, yes. Swift? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Uh, you I am always willing to provide assistance however I can do. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't yeah, know that. what it is I need assistance with. Working on it. Yes. I have not watched. But that's really interesting, though. You gotta teach me. It'll be like the trapper upside the head of protection. Well done. Ooh. You captured a trapper. Is that considered ironic? Oh, a hundred percent. So, what was the result for you? The balls, this is the one that the steel came just and all that. God, there's another clone person here. Thank fucking God. Oh, hey, Dolly. I'm excited then. What travel's been fine enough. It yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, oh, well, okay, the travel was almost bad, and then it was like uh, rough uh, on the shoulders, but otherwise, things went well. Got home okay. <laughs> so things are updating for me very slowly, as usual. On a later note, I deceded some berries and brought them over to other Pokemon colonies. Hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. It's like we've just been standing behind there the entire time. Hmm. No, they've been around the pillows for a while, and then they went back there. Uh, he has very much been enjoying having a desk, I believe. 
Mm. Honestly, I think Echo likes being, what did he call it, Nurse Joy, the head of the maid department. <gasps> I thought I was supposed to be the Nurse Joy or something, that is what they said. That's what everyone says. Well, it's good. Yes. Oh. with that job you have. Oh, well, mm -hmm. this Nurse Joy is more specifically catered towards Pokemon than anything else, my dear. Yeah, that is what I heard. Hmm. I was trying my best to play the role last week, but... Hmm. I did not want to stay on the counter the entire time. Perspective I'm gonna wander the library for a little while, <laughs> see what else I can read. Of course, dear. Aww. It's so cute. Mm. I know that you're not one for usual hangouts if you can help it. But whenever I get the opportunity, I would like to actually spend time with you, you know. <laughs> of course, however. <laughs> Given recent events, it might not be safe for you. Ugh, my safety is not usually something that I tend to ponder too much. Although maybe I should uh, not get a bit too far in my head. No, it's... Until I figure out what is wrong, you're not safe for me. Ah, that kind of yeah, conditioning, well, that's, uh, Raven, then. In that case, I will keep to the distance that is comfortable so you know. until you found a solution. <laughs> but when you do, okay, expect no. celebration. A very of much course. so. Of like, course. I was already planning mm -hmm. to head out. Alright, uh, back to reading. You give it more decorations or accessories. Mm -hmm. Other things do you like? That'd be cute. You need somebody to go get your arm <laughs> Oh, I'm good now. Sorry, I was just flexing for a second. I can go get my own. It's okay. I, I, was, I was planning to head out if you wanted to come with me to the ship. Yeah, sure. Here, face. Some taps. I'm not carrying it. And. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you can just you can just climb over my tail. Never mind. I keep forgetting that I'm not nine and a half feet tall anymore. I like seeing more of your face. Magic's weird. Yeah. All right. Time to go. Far more comfortable. Let me get my armor. Y'all have a good. About mm. witches, that perhaps Stuart is like my familiar. <laughs> no. Hi. Oh, there they go. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Talking about more Halloween things. Mm -hmm. I plan to dress up as a witch. Whoa. Mm -hmm. mm. I love. I I'm love still undecided how to shift this up as. Hey, Some people at the guild I go to, hi. in the Red Wilds, they suggested I should be Applejack Cowboy. Oh. <laughs> I do not, uh, they, it is a horse person, though. I do not want to become a horse. Of course. Why are you not talking about party like that, are they? Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably no one is going to turn I into a horse. Those, those are my guildmates in the favorite oh. things. They suggest I dress up as Cowboy. Honestly, I'm just worried that you're going to show up. I wasn't paying attention to the other conversation. <laughs> Something about dressing like some sort of Applejack Cowboy. I do not know what that means. He said it was a horse person. If he showed up in the version of Leon A centaur. Well, there's always the chance. Uh, suddenly, I have no idea. Yeah. Someone suggested if I get a tramp stone put on me, it is drawn in marker, so I would ask for one of you, sir. Put that. Okay. Draw it in marker. Come on. Hmm. Come here. Oh, that's another Pokemon. I've not seen them around. Perhaps I could dress up as a pirate. Hey, figure out costume. Hi, hi. Hi. Hello, darlings. 
Hmm. Did we get another Pokemon I do not know about? Oh. oh, no, them. Uh, mm -hmm. I can let Nikolai explain them. Oh. Uh -huh. They're asking if they're. <laughs> they're oh, that is my rat them. puppy, Stuart. Oh. oh! Hello! You have so many puppets! He's just a silly little guy. Oh, the puppets, the extensions of my mind. That's uh, a <laughs> funny way to think of to it is it is Rat Nikolai. Uh, rat Kalai. Rat Kalai. Rat Kalai. <laughs> <laughs> Musical oh, <laughs> 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 She rolls her eyes. <gasps> <laughs> My name is so close to the word broccoli. <laughs> oh, we should be careful about that then. <laughs> I should. This ah, is. Wow, 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 wow. I did not think this through. <laughs> <laughs> It's Artemis, guys. Hmm? Hi. Oh! There's so many people, like, Ooh. there's only so many people that have that one. Yeah, I got a mark, I, I finished my Mark IV drone. This is something that I, I actually had it mothballed. I was never going to use it, I was never going to use it. I had it halfway finished sitting in a closet. And then someone decided to try and shoot me. Then I really mm -hmm. Yes, I somewhat Meow. understand that. Mm. Getting shots not so bad. Okay. I am never living. Speak for yourself. Again. I am. Uh, that is terrible. My dear, Hi. I was almost eaten by several different things. Yes. And I was shot. Believe me, being shot is... I've been a pincushion for goblins. Mm -hmm. Or, excuse me, arrow quiver for goblins. Mm -hmm. oh, damn it. Mm. Sorry. I'm very thankful okay. that you are alive. I do not know how, but I'm very thankful. I'm used to saying it's yeah. Daisy. I'm sorry, babe. By the sheer grace of Maria. Mm. Takes a while to get used to it. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> partially, <laughs> half of those arrows were protecting Maria. So I have her to blame and to beg. Uh, no, you have me to blame. You have her to thank because she immediately started removing them the second we got down from that damn double wall. Very busy day Sunday. But I had to be the captain of the guard and protect the rest of my city. Yeah. Mm, I do not like this image. It can't be. Mm. But again, this is also 20 some odd years ago for me. That is still too recent. What? I was looking at your back. It was a blink of an you, eye. Yeah. It was probably several hundred. Uh. Oh, right. Yeah, it's exposed. Do you want me to put jacket back on? I don't mind. Nah, it's a either. blink of an eye compared to what I'm used to. Yeah. What is 20 years to 700? I liked it. So I like the way it looked, so I just kept it that way. But Maria made sure I was alive. Hmm. I suppose. How are you doing, I suppose. Hey, you're rolling down your translator. I know you would. Huh? What? You would very much like Maria. Got him a translator. Oh, I'm thinking of the pillows. Oh, you keep I saying that. that but you got shot with. Yes. I know this. 
That is why it's the plain thing. Hmm. You doing okay? <laughs> You've mentioned many things. You got your boss if you want it, there, man. Hmm. Actually, but I can still somewhat blame her if you got shot because of it. No. Even if she fixed it afterwards. <laughs> Well, it wasn't because of her. She was healing someone up on the wall, one of the guards. And the goblins decided they were going to then attack that and sent a volley of arrows. She would have died had I not intervened. I covered her and my shield was partially on my back. Oh, sure. So it wasn't. Oh, yeah. Wasn't as bad as it could have been. I would love to. Would have a batch that Tomoko and I can enjoy. But I was also wearing full plate, my dear. The only places it got in was through the joints. I feel inspired to learn this. I feel inspired. Oh, Though the repair bill for Belinda afterwards <laughs> fed me back for a while. Maria did not pay Actually, you for if that. If it wasn't for Maria, if it wasn't for Maria and Belinda, I would probably long dead. Belinda was our blacksmith. She made a lot of our. Uh, yes, she made a lot of my equipment. Mm. My shield. Well, no, I made my shield. She made my hammer, my axe, and reforged my sword, plated those weapons for me. You mean? Yes, I am sure. If you she gold plated my sword. Yes. Express myself. So part of that was here. Uh, yes, but because it's my sword and I've used it in battle, it is an extension of my soul. But yes, Belinda helped forge that sword. And that sword has got me through. A lot. I'm going to here now. I was on the camera. Me too. But I can't say that I'm not sad that. My friends aren't here with me at times. That's how they move faster. Why I named my I mean, not some of them. But plenty of them are here. <laughs> yes, it's just an old man missing old friends. You are not an old man. Stop that. My, my dear, for a human, I am an older man, yes. Hmm. Not to me. I'm 56. Yes, I know oh, that dear. very well. I made your cake. Goobers being goobers. Oh, my dear, it may not count to you, but to every other human it does, including me. Hmm. It counts. Well, oh, stop that. I think that's Roland's. He sniffs you. You're my young man. Uh, <laughs> Compared to you, yes, I am a young man. 
Young sexy man. <laughs> well, I try. <laughs> you try very well. <laughs> you can use me for you can hold on to me for word. You can hold on to me for support if you need to. <laughs> At least unless they want to. Some of my Pokemon do, but. Yeah. Only. I will give it to the next school. I may have to make you a guinea pig again later. Especially now, considering. Oh goodness, I'm so tired. Gosh. Hmm. I'll have to regather. I'll have to regather the strength soon and have to go through the process again. I am like old man. Yeah, I guess they'll see you or hear you. To be fair, I have to make certain that all the yokai understand where my boundary is. And what they will have to properly, well, protect from the woods. I am undead. Mm. I'm not used I'm to from a different era. being able to squirt my oh. all of these together. I am mm. ancient. In a cool right. way. <laughs> I'm back for the same retro. <laughs> See, he is ancient. Oh, I am retro. Oh, no. We're young. Hmm. My dear, I am technically technically considered ancient. Don't worry about being too I'll try not to say. You get older, you get better with time. That does not count, no. If we're being technical, I am over 300 years old. You are not. You went the fast way. <laughs> still doesn't count. His body is not 300 years old. Born. I was still born. No, I mean, Samantha was like almost 70 and he looked like he was about 30. And he was my, he helped me train. I, he's the reason why I'm in as good a shape as I am in. Hmm. Hell, I'm fairly certain his parents were far older and they looked barely in their 40s. And they were human, I think. It was because of training. I never really. I, I'm sure I, I don't know. I think somewhere along the line they had some kind of giant in them. Sure. Do you have some sort of giant in you? Like. My dear, no. I was the runt of my family. I am. What? what I suppose if I talk three. to Ellis, would you like some? Careful and gentle. Make sure I don't hurt anybody. No, that's fair. I'm definitely a I am. Uh, I am fine. <laughs> Kise. Oh, you did not get the joke. I am. <laughs> no, I got it. I just glossed over it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, I chose to ignore it. <laughs> oh, cheats it, dude. <laughs> Glossing yeah, uh, over me, how dare you? No, I wasn't glossing over you. I was glossing over the crude joke you made. But it was a good joke. It was. I get I get made fun of for my height because I'm really tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm still a bit shocked to be honest with you. But the new perspective. Yeah, adorable. Big lady. Yes. very intimate. Know you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, well. We could do this all night, so I'll just... We could do more oh, things. We could do better things all night, yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, God, I can't get the flesh going on right now. Oh. <laughs> None until you recover, at the very least. Oh, this is the worst. Yeah. Not that I know. I'm not exactly the one to really ask. It's not as worthy, but oh, this is barely. 
Are it's there encouraged. Departments? I feel encouraged. Once again, the toy makers, the alchemists, and... It's, 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 Oh. Is, it, is it because you're low on mana? Is that it? Mm. I do not have mana like this, mana. <laughs> right. Mm. That's the flesh column, never mind. Mm. They were just the flesh column, I could just eat and not have to worry about it. Yes. Fenrir is thinking out loud and it's annoying. It's throwing off my own thoughts. I don't have jumps in my ear. What is he saying? Stop that. <laughs> uh, he's doing what you want to figure out what the hell's going on. But he's thinking very loud and, well, old Norse. Whatever. Well, what is he saying? Oh, oh dear. Mm. He's not really saying anything, he's just thinking. Yes, in Old Norse. What is he thinking? Just different... Directions he could go with his research, or with what he's looking into, or who he can talk to, or what he can look at. It's quite literally research, my dear. I have resistance, but eventually... I do know what research is. I I've, I've had a few drinks and had, it didn't really do anything to me, so I don't know. Steve Lynn? Uh, Lemon Martin? Mm. Oh. Miss Orchard uh, was saying something to you. Oh, oh, yes. well, it, it was just so. Sorry. I was just... At least reach out to Ellis and then you can. Oh, thank you. Use a space that he used. Well, yes, is what it was called Lab. I call you. Makes things are secure. You may call me Devil. You, you don't oh, need you, you yes, don't need to call me. It's, mm. it's, it's alright. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's you 100%. Okay. Awesome. Uh, the only labs I've ever seen are the ones in Night City, and okay. mm. that gives me pause. Mm. I like the name. Good to see you as well. Absolutely. Well, you took me to Alice's once when I was starting the process with the flesh goal. Yeah. Well, yes, and that is what a lot of them looked like, if I'm being honest. Mm. I'd offer you a lemon martini, but I don't want to be mean. Oh, soon enough, I know. I'll just save it in the fridge for you, honey, for when you want to take it home. Thank you, darling. I can take it home for you. Thank you, darling. Mm hmm. Undead teenies for you. Hi. What a great room. Hi. I mean, it's a nice quiet bed for the people. I have a good Undead modified. I'm not a good list of the warmth. Uh, I'm not actually much of a drinker. I don't know why I said yes to this. <laughs> it is good for lemon flavor. Sure about it. This is all right. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I thought someone asked you. This is all right if you do not have much. I don't have to look after you if you feel a bit... I'm missing more shit. I'm always worried about that. It doesn't update very fast. Hmm. Oh, I... Is something wrong? Hmm. Oh no, I was about to say, Venra, stop thinking so loud. What? The pillows are really cozy. Oh, 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 thank you, <laughs> they are very comfortable. I'm fine. Hmm. It's not for everyone. No, that's why I said that thank you. Think you. Half the well, I like you. Like, oh, you find different foods that you like. 
Okay, you said so. Yeah. That is sweet, little. After being a uh, dead cursed for. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys go to Carnival without me? What? Yes, you look yeah, these were here when <laughs> Mona <laughs> brought in the pillows. <laughs> I assume these are Mona's. Indeed. I hope we can have another outing like the Molly went to a while back. That was fun. And educational. Hmm. I know that I know that Finley is working on a few event ideas. Now, the next time Kisi and I see Mona, we are going to suggest going to that theme park we thought she would like. Very true. Uh, true. Uh, yes, very much so. Well, it's gonna Hopefully, you should have some fun. You know, she would make that she would make that attraction even more horrifying than it already is. Oh, I'm sure. You try to outdo it. Oh. I mean, if that's what you call scary, but that, that was terrifying. What are you talking about? There's so much blood. Um, my dear, that's like an, as I said, it's like a Tuesday for me. Mm. Horror houses have one thing, but what are those called when you have like your challenge to go through like a This is a very strong and brave. No, I'm just desensitized. It's just working. As long as you cleanse yourself. You're more than welcome to take one. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people talking all at once. Yeah. That's really good, by the way. You know, I have so much other things that are much better than these cookies at home. Do not even pout. You know she's going to regardless. I know. <laughs> and be in. She does it because she knows that I feel bad, so I'm just going to make something even better when when we get home. Thank you. That's fair. I will be able to get in my flash car. I'll make you an all-you-can-eat cookie buffet when we get home. And you're using the sense sharing. Yes. Mm. Like a really good one, like a, mm. like a, 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 Holidays the way my people normally spend my holiday. I'm not going to be put at risk by a damnable mad pumpkin king again. How do your people celebrate this one? You're lucky I don't. Uh, oh, normally, if my memory serves, it's more new uh, the women no. celebrated this specific holiday, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Our typical way, sacrificing and etc, etc. 
because I could physically walk around. Well, Zachariasing not so much. What is the etc. etc. I have an entire shop around everywhere. Just prayers and the like. Oh, that is boring. Food, yes. Yes, my dear, not every single one of our holidays is just orgies. Why not? That's like a good way to celebrate anything. Because an orgy would stop being special. Speak of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Actually insatiable. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I like to think about silly things like that when I'm tired. And other times, but still the I see you have if you remember it, let me know. That might not be here super long. Is that another Pokemon? Thank you. You like a home? No. It's rat collar. Oh, this is cool. Okay. 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 They just saw them and were asking if it was a rat, and so I was just informing them that it was yours. Very small. To be honest, I could, yeah. Yeah. I could put a little top bad. Nothing, nothing bad, really nothing good. <laughs> that will help. It's a, it's a nothing. To be fair, I will definitely have nothing. I'm going to reach in the case and make the uh, muscle. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to wear a sweater. Am I, am, am I going on... A little bit local, local. Kibbs, I don't know if you want me to answer that question. Probably not. For the most part, it's it's not an actual rat, Kibbs. Yeah, I can tell. I'm moving it though. I'm fascinated. It's not really that they break. Well, yes, I break. I can break my bones more easily. You know, all of us. Yeah. 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 Like you okay? I am so tired. I have been time. using my spiritual lessons constantly at the shrine grounds to create my proper boundary. Oh, that takes a lot out. That makes sense. Mm -mm. I'm barely keeping my form. Mm. I am trying, but I'm here. How are you, dear? to come with us, you can. Uh, I am, uh, nothing in particular. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kind of, I exist. You know, that's a fair statement. What do they call that? A mood? That is a mood. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <sighs> I, I, I exist as a, as a constant standing existence. Yeah. Well, keep it that way. Yes. That is important. Yes, very much keep it that way. I have, I have no intent of going. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be here, here physically very long, but I will still exist in a physical. You will continue your existence in another place. Yes. That is fair enough. Oh, we had a very nice unicorn stop by. I believe one of Devalin's uh, co-workers at the Nine Heavens. Nice. Had, has a very good time with, with gossip. I like them. They're very good at gossip. Oh. Mm. I'm going to watch Beetlejuice. Oh, I'm really good movie. I'm gonna go. It's it's like the inside of my head is physically very warm. Oh. Ah, yes. 
Yeah. That is understandable. Yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's fine, dear. Yeah. Come and hang out for a while. Huh? Right, have a good night, dear. We can talk so, later. So Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No, well, it's probably getting about that time for at least me and Finner. Yeah. I do suppose so. Yeah, just getting a little late there. Oh, we did start yeah, late. Come on, do it. We did. We did just spend a bit. That's fair. Mm. I don't really feel tired. Hey, guys, how you doing? Where's the only echo is going? If the if the watchers like so, I don't know. Speaking of echo, where exactly is? He was he was here. I thought it was the library. Echo is giving a tour to Orchid. Oh, there was Orchid. Echo, real quick. I've not seen her in so long, not since the inkwell. Oh, it's just a casual place. Yes? Good to see you again, darling. It has been so long. Oh, you recognize me. Huh? It's very nice to see you again, Miss Kise. Of course, I remember you from Inkwa. Oh, it's been too long. <laughs> uh, we were going it's to probably head home soon, unfortunately. I'm very tired. I've been using too much of my spiritual uh. essence recently. It is about time that we do close up. But I at least want to finish the tour first. Of course, dear. I was not certain, considering we did start a bit late. <laughs> uh, Kise and I will probably be taking our leave, so mm. we'll let you... I'll do what I need to. Enjoy the manor, I darling. I look forward to seeing you again, Miss Kise. Of course. Thank you. I shall be a little bit less tired next time. Uh, yes, it's been a long week. Hmm. Understandably mm. so. An idea. See, we will see you later. Oh. Huh? Could you pick up some... In the freezer. I was about to ask. We're going to need some more mangoes. Mm. Why do we need more? Did you already eat it all? Yes, I did. Mm. I'll pick some up on the way home. Wonderful. I can't have anything until you get home because I need to use my f accessory with you. He cannot taste it. Okay. Yay. See you soon, Echo. Good night, dear. See you soon. Okay. You as well. You don't have levels, map it here. Hmm. Like we have the bay room. I'm gonna someone who does and you see. Hmm, sorry. Oh, good night, everyone. Good night, darlings. Good night. Have a good night, you too. Night. Peace to Well, mm. friends. Safe travels. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the tiredness now. This is good timing. Oh my god, it's been a long week. Freedom. Oh, I'm so high up. I never yeah, realized they put us this high up. Oh, yeah. It always does. People just keep moving forward and then you get down to the ground. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, my God. My arm. No. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. You could have said something now. I was expecting. No, it, it was fine. I, I stand with my arms like that, or mostly crossed, like all the time. So that's <laughs> fine. Just no. Yeah, especially with my oh uh, my shoulder the way it is. 
Yeah, luckily <laughs> it wasn't my left arm that I landed on, so. Yeah, that would suck. It would suck landing on your dominant shoulder. Yeah, that's, that's, ah. <laughs> I've, I think, was it this? No, it was my, it was my right collarbone that was broken, so. Well, fuck. I never had a broken bone. I think. It fucking sucks. I broke this, uh, I was in show choir. Uh, Did you break that in a show choir? We, uh, <laughs> not the way you would think. Uh, I don't know what way I would think. Coming, <laughs> uh, you think it would be a, you know, like song and dance related accident. It is not. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got back from uh, a rehearsal that took up most of the day. And like, because this was like way back in high school. This, so this was like... Oh god, uh, almost, fuck, 15 years ago. <gasps> Hi. Uh, Hi. We were, uh, me and some of the other uh, guys in the class were throwing a football, and I went long, I went to go catch it, and, and I wasn't paying attention to where I was running. So the back of the chorus room had, like, like this massive, like, super drop off that's oh like yes grass and it was like a super steep oh. so i went to go catch it and then i noticed there was nothing below my feet uh. so i went and then just started tumbling and i landed flat on my uh neck and shoulder i didn't even realize i had broken my collarbone until i stood up and i walked inside uh, my buddy goes, my buddy Josh goes, Jack, are, are you okay? I'm like, why? He was, look at your shoulder. And I looked in the mirror and it was like very slanted. Oh, <laughs> like, fuck. Not. Like, are we talking um, out of character? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, oh was like, this was a long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. Uh, uh. But I saw it, I was like, oh, and then I fell over, because I got woozy after that. Uh, and he lifted me up by that shoulder. Uh, and then he walked me to the uh, nurse. Uh, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, that's broken. That is, that's what, I don't even, I don't even need to do a check. I can see that it's broken. Uh, so I get taken to the, uh, immediately to the doctor. And, uh... They yeah they took X-rays and they said the way it had broken, it had like shifted under. Uh, they would have had to done surgery, had my friend not picked me up and lifted me from that shoulder. What he effectively did was, he moved that shoulder and the bone went back into place, and what that's what caused me to pass out. Because I passed out so in the nursing office. So he technically did the specific thing that would have actually helped you. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. He, he didn't know that at the time, but yeah, yeah. I would have had it, like it was so bad. That's how bad it was broken. Fuck. That they said if he hadn't lift me up and it reset itself by doing that, they would have had to do surgery on it. Shit. I have a question. Considering I was here not at the beginning of this, what broke your shoulder? Oh, oh you uh, broke your shoulder. 15 years ago, uh, so, something like uh, that. Uh, I was high school and I was going to, we were, I was in show choir and I was, we were throwing a football back and forth and I went to go catch it and the, I fell down a steep incline and landed oh, directly no. on my neck and shoulder and it just broke my collarbone. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing a guy from, uh, a guy from Corridor Digital who did that, like, he like dove over a table and landed directly on his collarbone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was at the yeah. beach yesterday uh, with some people, and uh, I had a pool noodle, and we were fucking fighting with the pool noodles. And eventually, at one point, I started chasing Joel, oh. and then I tripped on the sand, and I crashed onto my shoulder, and there was a pop. No. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yeah, like oh, cracking pop yeah. sound. Yeah. And now it's been sore ever since. <laughs> 
And of course, it's the one here. shoulder I've been going to PT for for like muscle issues. <laughs> You didn't I'm, like I'm enough dislocated that. or get the vein stuck under the joint, did you? I have no idea. I mean, it's not it's not excruciatingly painful, and okay. it wasn't then. Like it's just kind of sore. Mm. I can st I still have full range okay. of motion with it. Yeah, if you dislocated okay. it, you wouldn't have yeah full range. Yeah, I have. I can go around. Yeah, it's like excruciatingly it, painful. Yeah, like here, it like feels tight and whatnot, but that's. Yeah, mm. I, I, you just probably irritated it slightly from the yeah. fall. Yeah. But, you know, just sucks because I'd been doing an experiment to see yeah. whether, like, yeah. being away from my computer would help with my PT issues in the shoulder. And then, like, right at the end, just like, uh, nope, all the pain's back. I can't tell if it got better or not because the pain is there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was getting better, though. As a kid, I actually Get broke my left computer arm. Out of fear yeah. for I've never broken anything as far as I know, though I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be surprised if I had, like, fractured my nose at a couple points, because, like, I would get hit in the nose so often, but it's not really something you can tell if it's broken. With, unless it's, like, oh, really... Yeah. You can't really do anything about it. I am weak I just, for buff woman. I just imagine your computer got so f afraid of you leaving it that it just it called a hit. <laughs> I just had to reset your progress. <laughs> I fuck you, sand. Get in there. <laughs> so he, it called Agent Forty Seven. God damn it! And he subtly. Revenant for the meat rack just got done. Her mom. God damn it! Oh, oh nice. So now I'm going to go to uh, emo. I'm going to emo. Oh, going to the beds were so bad. I'm not, I'm quarantining myself and because I, I don't get Phoebe sick in case I have something. But like, I, that means I get to you use know, my oh, super soft fair. bed. I'm looking forward to that. I'm just gonna quarantine in the super soft mattress. <sighs> yeah, I got to meet Wolf and Crispy. Yeah, it was great. Aww. Oh, it's exciting. Like it's, I'm gonna try to go next year. Yeah, I'm I still think we need to. we need to find more places where it's just like for. a. A con that isn't so fucking expensive. <laughs> I, I would say Dragon Con. Like, out of all the cons, like, on the East Coast, I think that one's arguably the cheapest one. Oh, that's definitely not the cheapest one. It's cheap. I guess it's cheapest for how huge it is? Cheap. <laughs> yeah, cheapest for how big it is. Like, especially... together next year. Question. Especially if you get the... Uh, the passes soon enough, mm -hmm. but it's also you'd also have to set like a week a week for it. And aside. then you can't. It's very hard to get Who a hotel. Agrees a, before mm. I wanted to go. Who also agrees? Airbnb over hotel? No, fuck Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. <laughs> fuck Verbo. Really? Yeah, people had troubles uh, yeah. with that. Airbnb. Like, at least a couple people had like really serious issues with that. Mm -hmm. Like when they got there and then realized it's like an illegal place. Ah, uh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Well, and uh, they can literally charge you two hundred dollars for, like, oh, you didn't replace the milk in the fridge. Yeah. So here's it's it's way le it's oh, less God, regulated yeah, than no. hotels, so there's less like then, response if they fuck up. Okay, yeah, no, hotel hotel is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, it's really hard getting a host hotel. Yeah. Even the ones around that aren't the host hotels are pretty expensive, depending on how close they are. And you st that means you have to walk outside more. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, but there, there is a lot of, uh, a lot of like, well, you know, host hotels are ideal. They're also not impossible to get. They're just, the closer it gets to the con, the more incredibly expensive they get. Like, two. Three thousand dollars. Oh no! Some of them are no. Some of them are fucking impossible to get unless you're like on the phone immediately when things go out, and then it's still a lottery. Uh, yeah. per personal advice to someone that goes to Dragon Con yearly: make a reservation a year in advance if you can. Oh, you, no, you've you, been there. You don't have to tell me. I <laughs> I've been there way. I know they're yearly. Uh, may have crossed paths I, then. Uh, the, the only my bands performed there a yeah. few times. I, I Ooh, cool. went there from like two, like early 2000s to up until about before I moved from I uh, Georgia. 
I started in 20. Do you live? Oh, well, we, maybe we could hang out sometime. Uh, I lived in Georgia up until 2018 ish. Oh, shit. I live in the same area. We're not going to dox anybody. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to end stream now and then probably crash soon. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry. I was kind of like low, super low energy because I literally just got back from the con a couple hours before we started. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I don't know when I'll be back. I, I may skip the fork just because I'm fucking tired. But, uh. We'll see. I may just need to like fucking crash for a bit. I will definitely rest as best I can. So um, until next time, y'all stay safe, stealthy, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Good night. Oh, God, I'm tired. The Wii was fun. <laughs>